Hi, Russell Cummings. Just wanted to explore one of the tools that I use to help define the business context that we're moving forward. And that's to get your head around the business environment. Now it's a quick scan and it's using a, a simple value chain to get you to think about the key elements of, um, yeah, of the value chain that are impacting on your business. So the first one is supplier. So what's happening in, in the people who supply you? And these can be you know, equipment, material, raw material supplies, a whole heap of things that supply you services and products into your business. Some of these are more important than others and some can have a major impact in your business, particularly if they're monopoly suppliers and in some way. So what changes are going on in that industry or in within your suppliers, what, what's happening around there that will impact on your business going forward? Think about your industry. So think about the industry that you're in. What changes are happening there? Do you have any large, you know, 800 pound gorillas in your industry that are going to cause you trouble or, or problems in the future. So think about your industry and what's happening in your industry about consolidation and expansion, mergers and acquisitions, <laughs> acquisitions that are going to give you some problems. Think also then about, about channels and direct customers. So if you sell your product through wholesalers or a distribution network or maybe through multiple channels like retail, wholesale, online, a whole range of channels, think about what, what's happening in each of those channels that might impact your plan moving forward. And then lastly, the end consumer, so the person who actually consumes your product or service, what's happening for them? What are the major changes in terms of the environment that are impacting on those people? So just write down two or three points in each of those, those key boxes and draw out the ones that are most important for you and your business to make sure that we address those as part of the planning process. You'd normally feed them into analysis like the strategic SWOT analysis into something like opportunities and threats um, to help you get your head around what uh, you might be able to do about those. All right, so that's a simple business environmental scan. I'll leave it there. Talk again soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.